In this video, we are going to create new table in our database to store the blog posts. You might create that table by using MySQL client tool, such as phpMyAdmin for example, but I don't recommend that way. Instead, we are going to create that using database migration. Because using database migration, we can track the history of database changes. Okay, the first thing we have to do is open the terminal. Then, let's create new migration by typing PSP artisan make migration, followed by migration name. Or, if you want to create new migration and model using a single command, just type PSP artisan make model, followed by model name and add dash m option. Let's open the newly created migration. Here, let's define integer column called order ID. We'll make a relationship between this post's table to the user's table. Ideally, the relation column name should be table name in plural followed by underscore ID. In this case, it should be user ID. But for now, we'll not follow that convention. We also need to define another string column to store post title. Another string column to store the post log. This column store unique value which take from the post title and replace all spaces characters with dash or underscore. This is very helpful to make our blog URL SEO friendly. Another column we need to add is excerpt in text. This column is used for storing the excerpt of the post. Text column used to store the body of the post. Body is better. Last, let's add string column to store image of the post. And we set this null by default, because the post could be has post image or not. For the outer ID column, let's define a foreign key. We revert this column to ID column in the user's table. When a user has one or more posts, it cannot be deleted. Don't forget to add unsign here. Because in create user migration, we define increments which generate unsigned integer column with the primary key and auto increment. So related column should has same type and attributes as well. Now let's go back to our terminal and run the migration. Okay, database migration has been run. Now let's see in phpMyAdmin. There we go, the post table created successfully. Let's see its column. Hmm, it's only ID created it and updated it. I think I forgot to save the changes of the database migration file before run the migration command. I'll back to terminal and roll back the migration. several changes and rerun the migration again let's see now we have all columns we need okay we have created the post model with its table in our database using migration in the next video we'll prepare some dummy data using database seeder and here i'll save all the file changes to git repository